Hello, this is Mrs. Kohler. You probably recognize me as the weird lady that stands in front of you in class every day. What I want to talk to you today real quickly though is really about just what biology is because that's what we're going to be studying all year. So what I have in my hand right here is a wild raspberry plant. So what most people think about when they think about biology is either a plant or an animal. And that's really usually the first thing that comes to mind because biology is the study of life. This plant is alive. But what I really want you to remember as we go through class this year is that there's a lot more to biology than just the individual plants or animals. So when we think about, well, it flew away, but we did have a dragon. When we think about biology, we start with the individual plants and animals. But there's larger structures in that and there's smaller structures in that. So if you were to go inside this wild raspberry plant, you would find organ systems that help the plant to do its job. And those systems are made up of organs. Those organs are made up of tissues, which are like little sheets of cells that all do the same job. Those tissues are made of cells. And then inside the cells, you have smaller structures called organelles. Those organelles are made up of molecules. Inside the nucleus, which is one of the main organelles of the cell, you have the DNA, which is the genetic, genetic material for the organism. And that DNA is made up of molecules called nucleotides. Those nucleotides are made up of atoms. And then those atoms are made up of even smaller, uh, smaller particles. So even just looking at something as simple as this plant, there's a whole lot of other things going on below the surface of it. And this plant itself <clears throat> plays a part in a larger structure called an ecosystem. So this plant produces fruit. What might happen with the fruit? Well, a bird might eat it for food. An insect might eat it. A bear might eat it. Okay, they would eat it. It would pass through their system. They would spread the seeds to other places. So the raspberry gets some benefit from that by being spread around. Um, but other things it does besides food, even just these leaves. These leaves can serve as shelter for an insect. Could be a place for them to lay their eggs. So the plant plays a role in the bigger ecosystem. If you put a bunch of these raspberry plants together, they form a population. They're organisms that can breed with each other. If you add these raspberry plants along with the insects that use it and the birds that use it and the bears that use it and the other plants around it that interact with it, you get the community. If you add to that community all the non-living things like the soil or this even this man-made path right here, all of these things that aren't living, the sun shining down, the clouds, the rain, those are all called abiotic or non-living factors. They're part that those along with the non along with the living things are part of a larger structure called an ecosystem. And then you put all the different ecosystems together and it forms the biosphere, which is the whole earth. So those are kind of the different layers that we're gonna talk about this year in biology. And whenever we're talking about, even if we're talking about something specific like the photosynthesis that goes on inside this leaf, think about the fact that that little system that's going on inside of here is affecting everything else that's all around. So welcome to biology class, have a great year.